the policy of um, of all the agencies in London is that they that we don't require models to have sunbeds. Models don't take sunbeds anyway. They are um, probably more clued up about skin care than perhaps the average person would be. So it, it, it's never really been an issue. Uh, we don't. We just don't have girls that use sunbeds. If the girl had potential as a model, and we thought that she could make a successful career as being a model, we would sit her down, explain to her that we thought she had potential, also explain to her about the, 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 the sunbed situation, stop them immediately. We would wait until you know the effects of the sunbed had worn off till we were able to start working with her. Um, and then, you know, if necessary, just can keep giving her guidance about skincare, obviously nutrition and all the other things that agencies give, you know, to their models but we would yeah probably give them a lot more guidance about how to look after their skin probably rectifying some of the damage that they'd already done to their skin by taking some beds if it had been something they've been doing for some time um, but we certainly wouldn't tolerate them continuing taking some taking some beds cancer research is um, our UV ugly campaign and and that the, the, the agency standing together in solidarity against sunbed use will rub off Models are trendsetters, as you said. Hopefully, when the, 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 the young people start seeing that you know the, the fashion leaders, the fashion trendsetters, are a don't use them and b certainly don't endorse the use of them, maybe that might have some impact.